here's what we've got today. Fixing soup bones, plus some leftover veggies, plus bouquet garni, leftover stock. You might recognise this, one of our leftover jars of meat, and some spices. And we're making beef stock. Yes. Today's adventure is beef stock on the Bear Spice Kitchen. Here we have our beef stock bones and I'm just going to give them a quick spray with some oil. There we go. I use spray olive oil just to give them a nice burnish and we're going to pop them into an oven preheated to 250 degrees Celsius. I'll pop up on the screen what that is in Fahrenheit. We had shabu shabu for dinner recently so uh, here we have the leftover stock from the shabu shabu uh, that was left over in the dish and uh, these are the remainder of the shabu shabu vegetables over here we've got um, some spring onions we've got capsicum and to that I've added some an extra chopped up onion there uh, in catering college I always learnt that you should leave the skins on for colour so I have and I've chopped up a carrot as well. Didn't have any celery, so I won't be putting that in this time. And uh, over here we have some beef scraps as well uh, that were cut off the shabu shabu meat that we used. Uh, and as I say, we've got an extra pot of beef there that was left over from the canning. And a bouquet garni, I find that easier to do and salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, so we'll put all of that into the Okay, pot. I've got a lug of oil in here, as Jamie would say, and I'm going to add to that our one onion. Let that sizzle up. One carrot. I'm just going to bound them off a little bit. Oh, and we may as well put in our beef scraps as well. So that's going to all go in and sizzle away until it gets a little bit of browning to it. We'll come back when that's done. Lots of caramelization happened in there now. So we're going to add the stock in. And just to glaze that pan to get the flavours out. So my bones have browned nicely and they look something like that and I'm just going to add those into the stock get that out of the way okay also going to add the remainder of the vegetables The leftover meat, the recalcitrant meat, one bouquet garni, and 
one teaspoon of onion powder. Add to that a generous shake of pepper and my little holly hobby salt shaker. A couple of good pinches of salt. Okay, now we'll pour in some water, boiling water. There's a line here in the pressure cooker which says maximum. I'm just going to fill it up to that line. So I don't know if you can see it there. There's the full mark. And there we go, that's close enough. Now that amount of water that I put in there was three and a half litres. So we'll bring that up to the boil. I've just added some water to the pan that I roasted the bones in. And I'm just giving it a bit of a stir to get all the goodness out of the bottom of the pan because there was quite a bit of flavour left in there. And then I'm just going to add that, add that back into the main stock. So you shall come to a boil. I'm just going to pop the lid of the pressure cooker on. Lock it up. Bring it to pressure and I'll let it cook for most likely about two and a half to three hours. And I'll see you once that process is complete. Okay, so you can see that uh, yeah. you can see that mark and how far it's gone down. We have taken out all the bones and vegetables. There they are there. And what we're going to do now is reduce that stock by about half. That'll make a nice concentrated stock that I can then freeze as ice cubes or alternately if I want to I can put it up in jars and preserve it to keep in the cupboard. So once it's reduced, I'll let you see the final product. And here we have our stock. We've got three bottles here, plus I used another two cups last night in my soup that I made. I made a cauliflower soup for dinner. So there you go. I'm going to put one of those in the fridge. And the other two I'll probably pour into freezer cubes and just freeze them in like, uh, I don't know, I guess tablespoon cubes, however much an ice cube takes. I usually pop one or two of those in to enrich stuff or to saute veggies, that kind of thing. Okay, so that's my stock and thanks for watching The Best Buys Kitchen.